Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be exploring Bolivia and if you thought it was just salt flats and La Paz which we'll get to in a later video you're going to be blown away by the landscapes. I'm in love with Bolivia already. I'll see you in a minute. Hello and welcome back. My name is Zoe and I've been solo traveling for over 15 years. At the moment, I'm doing an escorted tour of South America, going through Chile, Bolivia and Peru. In my last video, we were in the Atacama Desert in Chile and we're now we're going to cross the land border into Bolivia. So once you pass the first checkpoint, you get to another area where you change your cars. So we changed from our like, minibus to four wheel drive cars. And here is where you show your passport and do your immigration. You then drive a little further and you have another stop where they just check things. And then you're in Bolivia and Oh my goodness, I was not ready for what, why, what we saw. The landscapes are just breathtaking. Just take a look at this. only have you got these stunning landscapes of the mountains, you've got lakes, you've got the flamingos, it's just breathtaking. I have never seen anything like this, I've never been to an environment like this and it's just wonderful. But as I said in the video just a minute ago, it's cold, it's really cold. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Now, while driving through the landscapes of Bolivia, we had a couple of stops and one of them was at a village called San Cristobal, which was really interesting and it was the first opportunity that we really got to see ladies in their traditional clothing. It was just so wonderful to see. And we had a little wander around and went to their local market. Now, I love quirky things. And we're just driving in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden we come to this open air metal art museum. And I, I mean I loved it. I loved all the aliens and the statues and it was just so quirky and fun. And right next to it is the train cemetery. And this is where all the old British trains have been stored. And it's just, well, it's just a mind blowing just to see all these beautiful old trains. I mean, I'm not a train spotter or anything, but even I enjoyed seeing this. And it was 
just so entertaining and I really enjoyed it. But like I say, I love quirky. And if you love quirky, you're gonna love this. for this first part of Bolivia. Now I know we went to the gazers in Chile, but we also went to the gazers, let me pronounce this right, gazers of Sol de Manana. I hope I've said that right. And this was like very different to what we'd seen in Chile. So you had the mud was bubbling away and the steam was just being pressurized and pushed out. <clears throat> and what you can't see on the video is the smell, oh, the smell of sulfur was, oh, it was so strong. And, you know, for some parts, the steam was just coming over, as you could hardly see. But, oh my, it was fabulous. So this was my first day and first experience of coming to Bolivia. And I'm blown away. I've never seen landscapes like this. And I cannot wait to see what else we see in the upcoming days. We are scheduled to go next to the Salt Flats and obviously La Paz. And I'm very excited for those two. And I will report on those shortly. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave, leave you <laughs> with some more beautiful scenery of Bolivia. Until next time, thank you for watching, as always, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Ciao!